<laughs> of good report achieved notoriety in South Africa where it was banned by the authorities. The film follows an introverted school teacher in rural South Africa who starts an obsessive sexual affair with a 16-year-old pupil with tragic circumstances. The film screened this week at the London International Film Festival, where director Jamil Xti Kubika outlined his motives in making the movie. Give us a cue. And he leads with passion. When I um, set out to make the film, one of, again, the other narrative challenge that I wanted to give myself was that I wanted to, I pretended that I was working in the conventions of 1950s Hollywood, meaning that, okay, even though there's depictions of violence, there's all kind, and there's sexual content in the film. I wanted to do it in a stylized manner, and also I made a lot of things suggestive, and I left a lot of stuff in your head. The film is a beautifully timed thriller as a female police officer gets closer and closer to a grisly truth. The director is not quite sure if the film's infamy is a blessing or a curse. It's a double-edged sword for me. On the one level, look, this is a small film. It's an independent film. So by definition, you, you'll always be struggling and jostling for attention. For a film like that, especially on a wider scale, in terms of the world of films, it, it has no stars. It's in black and white. It's a South African film. So really, in terms of attention, not many people would have heard of the film had the banning not happened. So the now unbanned film from South Africa, that has given it some kind of attention. However, I say it's a double-edged sword because on the other end, who wants to be associated with child pornography? As well as being part of the BFI London Film Festival, of good report is also due to open the African Film Festival in the British capital in November. Almost Sengati. <laughs>